what i plan for today's couple of tips in tab view so first one is block chart tip uh, quickly let me create a simple block chart so let me drop the order date into columns what is that sub category Yes, block chart. So here we don't have any uh, challenges or issues. Directly, once you drop uh, the subcategory in columns and year quarter, and we drop the sales as text. Show me if you select the correct block chart. You will that uh, will get the uh, right block chart like which you would like to view. And if you would like to change colors here, you can go and change the colors. And, uh maybe instead of sequential if you'd like to have a stepped color you can send like by your things on so how many you would like to but in this if i was uh, i in the project we're looking like this is just where the client would like to view only the maximum and the minimum for each uh, subcategory here we will say across multiple years and apart from that rest of them can be in a common color is it so when i tried certain things and i found by creating a calculated field to solve the issue let, let me make, create a calculated field max up so here window max which is nothing but the max uh, here you are using table calculation uh, because uh, here our scope uh, we would like to get the max and minimum for each subcategory so if we go for table calculation we will be able to adjust the scope and where Should happen so and so. So here we will use the table calculation. Also, there is a way we can use LOD as well, but this is relatively easy, I would say. So if window max of sum of sales equals sum of sales, then max. Let's see. Domain is equal to sum of sales. Then, mean? Let me drop the max or min in color and get you what. So here suddenly uh, from table it changed to square. So if I try to change it to table again, the min or max will go. Unfortunately, table you don't uh, accept. This table cal table calculation, this type of block chart. So it's not uh, we can't. If you see the previous version which we made, we are unable to get the same version by using this uh, window min or max. So if you would like to have block chart somewhat similar to this, but with the window min and max, what we are supposed to do is let's quickly create an icon, rectangular icon, and we will replace this shape square with icon. Unfortunately, we don't have a rectangular icon. Shapes in tableau. So let me change to shapes. And if you look at the shapes, here we have square, circle, plus, but we don't have rectangle. So we will try to add a rectangle icon by using custom icons. Then we will replace the circle with rectangle, so we will be able to get that desired block chart. So let me open the power plan. So shapes. Save as picture. Documents. My tab here first. Saves. Center maybe 
so now we got the max and min in each row so this is somewhat similar to the default version if you would like uh, if you can spend like more time on experimenting the size then it will be able to make even a uh, much better version than this uh, this this is the first tip we had for today then quickly we'll move on to the second one so second one is nothing but the kpi indicators so let me just, uh, first make a simple bar chart category in rows sales in columns so we made a simple bar chart so let me create a calculator for profit ratio Let me drop it in text and let's convert it to percentage. So here uh, we are having some with positive, some with negative. How to add KPI indicators like triangles pointing up and down, and how to differentiate between positive and negative? We will try to see. First, before that, uh, in order to, in tableau, like you like to have separate colors for positive percentage and negative percentage. So one way of doing that is first distinguishing between the positive positive ratio and negative uh, profit ratio. So in that case, we will be able to uh, select separate color for uh, each of them. So first, let me create two fields. Now let me remove the profit ratio and add the positive and negative in the text. Let's keep side by side. So format. For the one with positive values, it should be showing up. And for the one negative values, it should be pointing down. Okay, so same thing we copy and paste it for the other one as well. Okay, now we got uh, uh, up arrows for the one with positive and down arrows for one with negative. The only thing left is to distinguish them in color. So for negative, we'll go for red. And for positive, we'll go with the green. Let's make it for that. So here we are able to distinguish between the positive and negative the one with uh, positive will be showing the up triangle kind of with green color and the one with the negative uh, it will show with the negative sign with the uh, red triangle pointing down this is the second tip i had for today next let's move on to the third one so the third one is nothing but the map one so let me drop the region Okay, from automatic let me change it to map. 
you know we got for it let me drop the color as well. or maybe i'll color it by sales 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 so now we have like got four regions uh, showing the sales but i would like to visualize a stack bar or pie chart showing which segment or uh, which category has contributed more towards the one so let me create a new sheet and we'll just try to make it float and keep on top of this earlier we faced the issue of background color here we will see how to remove the background color and keep the stack bar chart in the visualization so it's like more uh, the look and feel will be much better now we got the four uh, stack bar showing for each region so we no need to show the axis here in anyway, a separate axis we'll remove the region we we'll hide the axis that's all so now we got for west one completely let's uh, make a dashboard and we'll try to pull up this map on the stack we have done complete parameter so we we'll try to pull the west one we we'll change it to property slide the title so when we try to pull it's uh, showing the background white to remove that we will go to the sheet and select format and if you go for shading option for worksheet currently it's selected white you select and give none the background color will be removed and now it will be showing okay. here still it's showing some of the grid lines and that is will try to remove those all so format lens and axis okay still the zero line is on so now we are able to visualize uh, the percentage of sales across multiple category the particular region so in this way we can just do formatting and pull each of the stack parts for the Uh, separate region so these are the three tips i had for today then one more uh, feature we'll see by let me open a new 
workbook. So we have a feature, uh, once you right click on each field, you can see the replace uh, reference feature. So this feature uh, is very useful uh, when we come across like multiple dashboards, you make for example profit dashboard, sales dashboard, you like to view the sales across uh, multiple uh, dimensions and if you like to make the same dashboard for profit as well. So in this case, instead of making new visualization or duplicating the visualization and changing the sales instead of profit, you can just go for this uh, replace reference feature. First, we'll see how to make this. So let me create a three or four visualization with sales across multiple domains. So sales across the category. Subcategory. Mm, let me color it by segment. Subcategory, maybe after that. Yeah, and one more. Okay, so now we made three visualization using sales. Let me pull all of them to the dashboard. So currently we have three visualization which is uh, we are trying to visualize sales across multiple dimensions. So um, let's save this as well. I'll save it. Desktop. Okay, so now I saved uh, the dashboard with sales across multiple dimensions as sales. Let me quickly replace the sales with profit and let's see what happens. So sales, I'm trying to replace the reference with profit. And now if you see the entire dashboard, where we used sales, by default uh, the profit will be, the sales will be replaced by profit and formatting everything remains the uh, same so you can see even tooltips like sales is replaced by profit so let me save as save this as profit dashboard so now if i would like to combine both uh, sales dash uh, sales dashboard and profit dashboard so what we are supposed to do is i save this separately as profit dashboard so now let me open the sales dashboard which you made earlier So I'll just copy this dashboard. And paste it. So now we got the dashboard one, which shows entire sales, and the dashboard two, which shows profit. So when you are trying to make uh, the same dashboard but across multiple metrics, uh, then we can adopt this technique. First, we will make uh, for a particular measure, then we will replace the measure and save it separately, then we will copy paste. And this feature is not limited only to measure, even if you would like to change the dimension as well, uh, we can just use this replace reference technique. So these are the uh, things I had for today.